All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Jared Kennedy. Always ready to engage. We'll see how he handles this challenge tonight. So you can sort of feel an uptick in terms of the crowd energy. A lot of these fans came to watch this man who you think has the skill set to be a future UFC champion. I do, John, and I will go on record saying that. I believe this kid has a huge future ahead of him. He has a ton of skills. He checks all the boxes. He's got the wrestling. He's got the grappling. He's got the cardio. He's got the toughness. He can do it all, but it is on him now to make good on all the work that him and his team have done to put him in this position. And the UFC, as you well know, does a masterful job with the matchmaking. When a fighter is this hyped and gets to this point of their career, they give him a guy who they think can beat him. We'll see how he handles this challenge tonight. Our tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, Jared the Killer Gorilla Kennedy. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Marvin the Italian Dream Vittori. Herbert Dean's in the building. Great, He's the third man in the octagon great. tonight. All right, well, a lot of superlatives coming the way of the Italian dream, Marvin Vittori. He still has yet to break through and become the first UFC champion from Italy, but a lot of people feel like he can sustain and eventually get there. His cardiovascular base, as good as any middleweight in the division, outstanding ground game, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, brown belt, very good, durable on the feet. And he believes, as humbly as he could say it, his opponent does not have a single advantage in this particular matchup here tonight. All right, so Jared Cannonier with a beautiful one-two, and really every time you fight, you want to present a more developed, better version. That has certainly been the case every step of the way for Cannonier. Yeah, Cannonier was a good prospect when he entered the U.S. Now you can see the finished product. You can see a guy that looks like one of the best. Oh, that little shot, and if you take one of them, if you in the night, that will land it right on the spot. Big right hand. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Vittori. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. These boys are going at it. Oh! Let's get busy with those hands. Well, that overhand, big weapon for him throughout his career. It's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Vittori gets the takedown. Trying to recover full guard there. Cannoneer getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Nice reversal on the ground. Great job. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. 
Just he over two minutes out. to go. Oh, big, big shots here. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off with a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Elbow attack to the body now. Get on the hips and get up. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He passes the half guard. Got to be careful here. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Nice punch to the head. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, lands the overhand. How good is that? He's got some hands. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh. What an end to round one. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. He knows you're going to come hard, so he's going to be ready. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Nice jab by Vitor. Another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots today. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just head hunting. He is finding every opening that he's in to do. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. It's a right hand. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not right shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that hook. He's going to be trying to find it again. You can see him setting up his opponent, trying to get the hands to drop so he can drop that hook over the top. And there it is, the fighter lands yet another hook. Cannoneer's eye is closing up. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp too. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, and he does a great job of that. Vittori's eye is closing up. 90 seconds now to go in round two. Back and forth we go! Cannoneer's kick blocked. Entry and a wise move given how the things were playing out on the feet. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Come back. 
Huh. Ten minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? You ready. Third yeah. round underway. Right hook to the head block. Jab snaps the head back. So he's really struggling. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was. Oh, how good is this? Both men going for the finish. Big knee there. Oh, it's just opening up on him now. Upstairs. Oh, big knee there. Right hand over the top. Vittori's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Takedown defense is there. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes. Oh, those ground strikes are just brutal. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Cannoneer. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. And now he's got the back. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Vittori's swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Nicely done. Well, he's got his back now. Final seconds of round three. Vittori's in half guard now. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walked back to the corner. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough Ready, that your chin is. Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five, five minutes. Oh, that's a head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. You heard it real bad. Oh, he might be out. Nice leg kick. Heavy 
These shots continue to rain down. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Yep, got to be very careful there. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Oh, pretty good combination of leg kicks there by Cannonier. Nice leg kick. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, you heard him again. Back to his feet. Serve him good to throw mortals. Throw him idle. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy. Connections right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight ones are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Got to be careful here. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. All right, well, that blow is fossiting from that cup with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blow, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to take his back. Cannoneers in half goal. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd... Oh! Oh! Jared Cannonier with a huge knockout tonight. What a performance. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jared the Killer Gorilla Cannonier. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the